Hi everyone, welcome to my little nature reserve up here in Wales. I'm hoping to show you all some of the beautiful wildlife that I've encouraged to live in and around the house here and also down by the pond and, and some of the lovely insects and wildflowers that I've got here in the meadow behind me. Enjoy! So I've had this wildlife reserve going for about a year now and I've got the usual suspects, the blackbirds like we've just seen there, but some unusual visitors have already started to make themselves at home. Even if it is in the most unusual place, this is one I couldn't really believe when I saw it. Beautiful little red star summer visitor, not that common but a real treat when you do see one and I saw him going in and out with some caterpillars for the young and I couldn't believe where I saw he was nesting underneath my front doorstep. Charming, charming little bird. Easy to see them when they're up in the trees and the female because you can often see their red tail with the sunshine going through it. Dainty little bird, about the size of a robin. This post he's on here is last year where he nested. There's a crack in, in the post and he's been nesting around here now for a couple of years, but he's now made himself at home in my home. Great little bird. Get some bigger birds as well visiting around the house like the pheasants. But as you can see, most of the ground is new trees and quite a lot of marshland as well, quite open ground really at the moment. And one of the birds I've been trying to encourage to come and live around here, in the, there's a big nest box in one of these pine trees, and I've been trying to encourage something a little bit unusual for this high up. Right, so right now I can see the, the barn owls on their nest box, but what, I, what you can see is one of the young ones coming up to have a look at. He's trying to get out the box and he's having a look, come into the perch, see what the big world looks like. And I know it's a bit far away at the moment, but I don't want either me or my little friend here disturbing them. And I have just seen as well, which is how I knew they were around, is I've seen one of the parents on the perch, quite regular now, even in the sunshine, even in the daytime, having, sitting on the perch for a while, having a look, making sure it's all safe roundabout. So I don't want me or my little helper disturbing them. But even from this distance, you can see what beauties they are. Incredible to have barn owls up here. According to the bird books, this is higher than you normally ever see barn owls, but they've made themselves at home and managed to raise some young ones. And I just managed to see this one trying to, this is a young one coming to have a little look and see what the outside world looks like. The one thing the barn owls need, of course, is this open ground, which is full of mice and voles, voles particularly. So at the moment it's probably suiting them quite well. As you can see from here, it's behind me and amongst all these thistles and wildflowers, that's where the butterflies are and I'm going to try and get some film of them now. But all the wildflowers and the weeds all around the place that I've been encouraging, they're fantastic for encouraging the birds because it encourages so many in that and the insects are a joy in themselves.
some of these weeds as well, like this thistle. It'll encourage insects, but also it'll encourage some... This incredible dragonfly. What a beauty. He obviously lives down by the pond, and he's gone from being a larvae all winter, hunting in the water, and now he's hunting in the air, catching flies. You can even see him breathing here. What an incredible, incredible creature. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the little walk around my nature reserve. Thank you.